What's going on ladies? Today I want to answer some of the most frequent questions that I get from either some of my newer coaching clients and even some of the questions that I get in my DMs. If you're new here, my name is Lion and I talk about dating and relationships from a man's perspective, specifically catered to women. Now if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. And this question is probably something that I get on a very, very regular basis. And don't just get stuck on the specific wording of that question because I feel like it applies in a whole bunch of different situations and there are a whole bunch of different um, cases that this question applies to. So let's just dive into it. So if a guy seems to be interested in me, then why is it that when I send him a text, he doesn't reply right away, yet I do see him on the app. So you proceed by saying, you know, how, you know, you see when he's online and when he's available and you even see that he, you know, noticed and looked at your message. So why does he do that, but not respond to you right away? And the reason why I chose this question today, the reason why I figured that this was going to be a really good question is because it applies to so many different situations, right? In every time you start, right? When I say you, those people who have these questions, right? By the way, if you have a question like that or ever had a question like that if you ever thought about something if you ever wondered this right let me know in the comments right and if you have a specific situation let me know in the comments maybe i'll do your question next so every time you write a question like that those of you who do write a question like that you always start by saying the exact same thing why is a guy who seems to be interested in me and my question to you every time i read that I'm always very curious, right? Because you say, why does a guy that seems to be very interested, and then you proceed by giving me examples, all of these things that basically suggest otherwise, that basically tell me and tell you that he's not interested. You see, so I just, I'm wondering, and I'm trying to understand what makes you feel, what makes you think that he is very interested in you Right? If he, and in this example, doesn't respond to your text messages right away, or maybe at all. Uh, other people have been asking me, oh, well, he seems to be interested, but he doesn't ask me out very often, or not at all. Uh, maybe he's just not very good at trying to make plans with you and actually try to get to know you and ask you questions about yourself. Maybe every time that he try, you know, he connect, connects with you, it's always like an afterthought, always last minute, always like, hey, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to come over or can I come over, right? Why does he do all of these things that suggest that he's probably not interested or not very interested in you or at least not interested in the same type of relationship you're interested in, then why would he appear to be interested? So I'm just wondering, what are you basing yourself off of? What, what makes you think that he is interested in you specifically? Is it because at some point he said that he was interested? Again, words are very cheap. Words are very easy to fake. You see, I can tell all of you watching this in this very second that I am madly, madly, madly in love with each and every one of you. And as you may tell, it costs me nothing. Right? No effort, no time, no money. It literally took me two seconds to say that with zero effort. Now, if I, have to, if I had to prove to you that I feel the way I feel about you, now that's a different story, isn't it? I would have to go out of my way. I would have to drive or fly or whatever that is to come see you. I would have to spend my time doing that. I would have to think of ideas of what we could do, go on dates with you, actually try to impress you, right? Try to get to know you, ask you questions. All of that stuff takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, some money and effort. Now that is a true indicator of interest. It, it is effort over time. So if the effort is not there over time, maybe the effort was there the first time you met him and he was you know, pulling chairs and he expressed how much he liked you. But if that's not there weeks or months down the line, then there is no real interest. Again, interest is not just effort that one time, you know, back when. Interest is consistent effort over time. Is he consistently trying to invest in this relationship and trying to progress it into the next level. Not just, again, something that he said at some point or did at some point, but whether or not he's continuously doing that. So unless that's there, then that whole statement at the beginning, right, is something that you're telling yourself. It's not reality. He doesn't seem to be interested in you if he doesn't actually show it to you through, again, effort over time. Um, one more thing that I wanna say here, obviously, 
I don't know your specific situation. And when I'm answering these questions, I'm always going to just base on the things that I kind of see here and trying to generalize it. Obviously, if I don't know the ins and outs of all of these other things that he might be doing or not doing outside of just replying to your text messages, but obviously these things are also very, very, very important. Right? If someone is just not very good in text messaging, but they show you a lot of interest through effort with all of these other things, that's not something that you can discount, right? That these things are important as well. So if you have specific questions like that and you want to give me the whole story, you want me to know that your situation and give you an educated advice to your specific situation that will allow you to get closer to where you want to get, then don't just rely on my answers and book a session with me. I'm going to put a link in my bio, in my, in my description here, where you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching and that will give you that advice firsthand. But otherwise, I also want to say that texting all by itself, right? If we just take texting all by itself, and, whether, and, and, and the frequency of the texting and how fast they reply, all by itself, it is not a good indicator of interest, right? Because people treat texting very differently. I, for one, don't really enjoy texting. I'm a busy person, and texting to me just means that I have to take this much more time to convey something that I could probably, you know, was able to convey in 30 seconds. But now I need to text you for half the day to get that point across, Right, and wait for your responses and all that. So I'd much rather call you. I'd much rather have a video chat with you. I'd much rather schedule more dates with you and see you in person than text you all day. All of these things, you know, the good morning text, the good night text, and all of that crap in between, that's, that's a question of preference, I guess. Uh, but beyond that, it just creates that false sense of intimacy. It's not real. All right? It's not a good indicator of whether or not someone actually wants to build a relationship with you. So focus on the things that are important and instead of focusing on these, you know, tiny little things that are preference or maybe things that your girlfriends are telling you, hey, he's not texting you as often, he's probably cheating or it's probably that. Instead of focusing on these tiny little things, focus on the things that actually matter. And before you make up your mind and say to yourself, oh, he must be really interested, why the inconsistency, right? I don't see a lot of inconsistency. I don't see a lot of inconsistency. If he's not putting in the effort over time and he just said that one time that he's madly in love with you, I don't see these things as inconsistent. They're very consistent. They're very consistent. I discount these things that happen one time here and there. I want to see effort over time. And if that's not there, right, then the, then the interest is not there either. Remember, people in general, not just men, but people in general, show interest in things, whether that's in romantic relationships or like within our careers or anything else in our lives, right? If you want to know what's important to someone, don't pay attention to what they say, but rather pay attention to what they do consistently, right? If you want to see if like their fitness is important to them and they want to lead a healthy lifestyle, don't hear what they're saying. Don't listen to that thing that they said, oh, I'm really you know, conscious about my health and I want to put in an effort. Don't listen to that. Don't even look at the fact that he maybe went or she went, maybe went to the gym that one time last week. Look at their typical week over the past six months or the past year. Have they been to the gym three, four times a week? And that shows interest in that, in that, in that area. Have they been asking you out on a regular basis, on at least a weekly basis for the past whatever months that, you, months that you have known each other? If the answer is yes, then the interest is there because the effort is there. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you guys in my next video. And again, if you have any specific questions like that, drop it right here, drop it on my Instagram, and I'll try from time to time, create some more, some more videos like that to answer some of these common questions that I get. See you guys in my next video.